Welcome back to the Phoebe Way. If this is your first time, welcome to the Phoebe Way. My name is Phoebe and this channel is all about life in Germany, travel, enjoyment and positive vibes. Welcome to the month of February. May all the good things we seek find us this month. So, as tradition demands on this channel, we do the legal updates, new laws that have become effective as time goes on. This is the February edition. Lean in and let's talk. Number one, the mask mandate for public transport or on public transport has been scrapped. Some states, for example, Saxon-Anhalt or Sax Saxony-Anhalt <laughs> had already scrapped the mask mandate and you didn't have to wear the mask on the public transport like buses and trains. But then for it to be a federal rule, whether you could do that on public transport for long distance, like on the trains um, from Berlin to Stuttgart or from Munich, you know, when you're going with the IC and all of that, now you don't have to do that as well. So you can decide whether you want to keep a mask on or not. That is the first thing that is new and personally was a bit of a, a surprise that it went that quickly. But it's, it is what it is. And I had never seen them controlling people on the train, on the buses to keep their mask on or ask them where their mask were. I've never seen anybody punished as in been given a fine or anything. All I see is the control for tickets and then they'll tell you put your mask on, keep your mask on. But apart from that, I've never seen anyone get fined. Have you been fined because you were not wearing the mask on the train or on the bus? Let me know in the comment section below. Have you experienced? We don't want to talk about yours. If you don't want to talk about yours, have you experienced someone else getting punished for that? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think it's a good idea? Will you still keep your mask on? Let me hear your thoughts. The first one is no more mask in trains and in buses nationwide, okay? But then you still have to wear the mask if you're looking for health care. So if you go to any healthcare facility, if you go to visit your doctor, if you go to the hospital, any clinic, keep your FFP2 mask on. Next one is the first aid kits in the car. So you have to upgrade that. Normally, you just have to buy a new one when you're going to the tooth. If you, you, yours is already expired, you just got get a new one. Let's go to tooth and you get your tooth um, sticker, right? Now, make sure that you have upgraded. You don't have to get a new one, but rather just get two, um, two face and nose masks in it. So you can get the FFP2 max, add to your first aid kit in your car and you are good to go. Not much asked actually. The next thing is, as we're talking about Corona still and all the things that are coming with Corona, home office <laughs> privilege is officially over. It's up to your employer if they want to give you home office. It's up to them. But it's no more mandated for home office for employers to enable their employees to have home office access where it's possible. So now we're going back to the office unless you have a cool employer. But it's over, all right? There are no more forced to make home office available to you if the job allows it, yes. And also, if employees have corona, the government is recommending, recommending that they stay at home and, you know, not bring the coronavirus to work. A lot has been going on when it comes to environmental, you know, activities to save the environment, green energy, and all of that. This next segment is about that. So, the Wind and Land Gazette, all right, it is also in action. It's supposed to help Germany achieve its goals, reach its goals for renewable energy by 2032, all right? So, they're going to introduce this and make it easier for the establishment of wind turbines on the farms, all right? That is one thing you have to know. Another thing that has to do with energy is that the um, energy saving bulbs that the energy saving bulbs are no more in use or no more allowed you're not going to get them to buy anywhere because there are health concerns about the mercury that is in these bulbs okay health concerns or health breaks and also concerns for the environment so because of this if you go out there and try to buy the energy saving um, bulbs you will not find them because they are no more available an alternative will be the LED lamps all right that's another thing now, the best part of the energy saving policy that I've actually started, it's officially they're supposed to go from March, but retroactively, it's reaching for January and February is the 
gas price cap and it's going to continue is that says that 80% of the gas used in the household 20% is going to be the price of the provider so now the difference between the price that the government the government has capped and what the provider wants to be paid by the government yes to free money well not for us though but you know you get what I'm trying to say it's going to be capped at 12 cents per kilowatt hour 12, 12 cents per kilowatt hour 12 cents per kilowatt stunde I like saying that more in German because that's what I learned <laughs> Because that's what I learned and it sounds right in my ears. When I say it in English, it sounds weird. Anyways, so that is the next thing. 12 cents per kilowatt stunde. You see? 12 cents per kilowatt hour. And it's going to last for now until April 20, 24. If any, there's any updates on that, I'll be your girl. I am your girl. I'll be here to give you updates, all right? So, energy segment done. Now let's get to taxes. Normally, you should have submitted your taxes if you have a tax advisor by the end of February 2023. So for the year 2021, you should have finished by the end of this year, end of this month, 2023. Okay, let me write, say that again. So for the year 2021, the usual time period or the usual deadline is February 2023, right? So now, if you have a tax advisor, you've been given another six months on top. That is August 2023. So you have up until August 2023 to find yourself a tax advisor to file your taxes. Some people get money back, okay? So, so don't sleep on the money. Get it back. Get it back. All right. Good. So if you're a tax advisor, tax advisors know this already anyways, but if you've never done your taxes and you've been here for... For longer than 2020 since 2021 and you worked in that year and you pay taxes a word to the wise they say is enough mm -hmm. and in other news the beer prices are about to shoot up but not all brands of beer the brands that i am aware of the brands have been put out that they are going to be affected by the beer price increase are Warsteiner, Herforder, Frankenheim, König Ludwig Kaltenberg, Paderborner, and Isenbeck. Those are the ones. Not all of them. So got to hope boy. Indeed. <laughs> yes, guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you have any questions about life in Germany, please stay tuned. I will bring bring them to you. Make sure you subscribe and activate the notification button. Check the community page. I do put out information there as well. Follow us on Instagram. It's the Phoebe Way. On Twitter, it's the same the Phoebe Way. Sometimes I'm a bit late with getting back to you. I'm really sorry, but now I'm back to full, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, full capacity. And so I'm going to be answering your questions and all of that. There are so many questions that have come in about asylum. If you have any questions about asylum, I'm going to put a post on the community tab. Ask them or send me an email at ldvwithphoebe at gmail.com. And I'll put all of them in one video and answer them pretty soon. Take care of yourselves and I wish you the best of February. Bye.